Well, I started to like biology and so as a child. I had a lot of pet animals. And whenever someone would ask me what we'd like to do when you grow up, I would always say I want to be a zoologist. In order to learn more about the marine worms I was studying, I needed to learn more about the algae, about the seaweeds, because a lot of those worms live around the seaweeds. So more and more I started to look at the seaweeds and little by little the worms got pushed out of the picture. My research is in organismal biology and in particular in uh, seaweed uh, systematics. So I'm looking at the relationships of certain groups of red algae and where they fit in the tree of life. So uh, my lab and I are doing that based on both morphology and uh, molecular evidence, morphological and molecular evidence. So we basically study uh, where the algae came from, uh, what are they related to group by group and at all levels of uh, taxonomic rank. The algae are beautiful organisms to be able to blend the old-fashioned uh, type of um, science with the newest type of science. So the old-fashioned type would be like looking through the light microscope, looking at the structure, looking at the comparative morphology, and then it would involve the newer uh, science, the newer tools, look at DNA sequencing, looking how the DNA of each group is specific for that group, and then how it correlates with the morphological data and then in turn how everything correlates, the morphology, the DNA sequences, with their biogeography, where, where they live and how they came, for example, how an alga from uh, the Gulf, from South Australia, basically uh, is closely related to an alga from the Gulf of Mexico. Suzanne has so many attributes that are, are recognized by people around the world that uh, it's hard to, to focus in on them. She's such such a fine expert uh, on algae, uh, an aquatic plant that's used in everything from uh, toothpaste to exotic biofuels, uh, that she's constantly in demand. Uh, it's never a question of does she have an NSF grant, it's how many NSF grants does she have. She's that strong a researcher. Well, Suzanne has an extraordinary record of, of research productivity uh, since she came here. She um, has had a lab full of students and postdocs and publishes at a really fantastic rate. She uh, attracts extensive external funding. And it all relates to the distribution of marine algae uh, around the world. And at first glance, these algae aren't very impressive. So most people would just pass by them and not even notice but she's taken the time to learn them. So I'm most proud here in my career uh, at UL is uh, that I've been able to train some graduate students and that those graduate students, once they have graduated, I have now graduated nine PhD students, all have, all have continued to work with seaweeds, uh, different aspects of them. So they all have been able to continue working with the algae and I think that's what I'm most proud of. So it's like, um, uh, passing on the torch, as, as it were. But I think it's wonderful that um, someone who studies a, a field of like algae, you know, those obscure animals, can be chosen to be a distinguished professor. Because I think actually it should be the algae, the seaweed, that should be distinguished organisms. Because it's thanks to them that, uh, and to their fascinating structures and so, that I've been able to, to study them.